Apple YouTube and in this update I just want to show you all the newest build of Blender which comes with some really cool new lighting improvements for the Blender game engine. So I'm just going to show you the few that I've already found as of now. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more in the full release because this is still just a build and uh, I have the download link in the description for you guys to have a look at. Alright, so some of the new features is one a uh, really cool one which is soft shadows which is absolutely epic so what you do is you go down to your <clears throat> your spot lamp and you select buffer type simple is your kind of standard one that you've always had and you change that to variance and you put the bias down to zero so here you have soft shadows and it looks great except for some little issues which can be fixed with the bleed bias so put that up to something like Five. And I'll just get rid of this. As you can see, there's some great soft looking shadows. And also another thing that is good with soft shadows is you can lower the resolution and keep a good looking shadow. So normally I have it about 2000. I can now lower it to about 1024. And it still looks good. The bleed bias went down a bit actually. So yeah, that's one feature. Another cool one is the ability to have sun lamps with shadows. Oops. Just gonna put the energy down. Energy, energy, energy. There. Point four. Yep. Okay. So with the sun. If you just click on shadow, it will now have shadows. And the other thing is um, shadow color. So you can just modify the shadow, color of shadows now. So there you go. Blue shadows, red shadows, stuff like that. And now with these improvements to the lighting system, Blender's taken a good step forward towards creating a free game engine like Crisis, I guess too far ahead of itself but yeah this is just all I've seen of the update for now so please check it out and check out my other YouTube videos as well if you have time alright thanks for watching see you